Hey, is your Facebook ad account disabled? Aren't you seeing this dreaded screen, which anyone who's ever run Facebook ads sees at some point uh, in their career or in their attempt at running Facebook ads? I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. Uh, it's going to save you a ton of money and make you a ton of money also. And also, more importantly, maybe most importantly, is to save you so much time every single month from this point forward. So if you're seeing this screen, you're in the pain that your ads have been disabled. You can't run your ads to your offer or to your service, whatever it is you're doing. Um, and anyone, as I say, who's ever run Facebook ads has seen this screen. They just know at some point Facebook will uh, pounce on them and close or disable their account. Now, I completely feel your pain because I've been running ads about 10 years, um, all sorts of different ads and traffic, ways to get traffic to the website, uh, to my website and to clients' websites. And I've felt the pain of losing an ad account. So I run it, you know, I'm, I'm six grand in and I've been running for like over three months, no problem. And all of a sudden I wake up and I see this page and it's just like a sinking, dreading feeling, right? And you just lose all of the targeted information that you've just spent loads of time and loads of money building up. Um, and it's completely frustrating, right? You know, I know how you feel. So I feel the pain. And also the reason why there's two images on here is because I have two permanently banned right now. I have my own personal one banned and they wouldn't listen. Um, and it wasn't like I was doing anything terrible. I was literally, I was back when I was a personal trainer, I was um, had a transformation course and I wasn't even sharing the transformation images, which we know Facebook doesn't like, right? But they just locked it down and they wouldn't listen. They're like, no, it's gone. You're not having it back. No matter what I said, I tried from my mobile, I tried from my desktop. I tried lots of different strategies. No. And then I started using my partner's account and that ran fine for about eight months. And then all of a sudden for no reason again, and I was super, super careful. Um, if you've, if you've experienced this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And they locked that down as well. And that's permanently banned. So I feel the pain of having two Facebook ad account disabled ad accounts. Um, and at that point you've got a choice, right? You go, how can I keep running? How can I get ads? How can I get more people to see my stuff? Um, and it's a bit of a problem, but there are solutions. Uh, and most of the time, no matter how you grovel, no matter how you go, Facebook is like, nope, you're not having it back. We got the ball and you can't play. <laughs> but I'm going to show you a different way. I'm going to show you an alternative way. Uh, and it's absolutely genius. It's, it's, a, it's a little sneaky way right now that you can run ads using Facebook. We're still on Facebook and um, you don't need the ad platform. Let me show you. OK, so if you do want to go down the route of trying to get your uh, Facebook ad account disabled, if you're trying to get it back, then there's like an endless amount of videos and uh, and Google searches that you can make. Right. Um, but the, the bottom line of all of it is that at the end of the day, they're just going to say you've just got to appeal. Right. So you just got to try a different way from different angles and you just got to get to the point where you get to the right person and perhaps you get an ad account manager and then maybe you can appeal. All right. But most people, they can't get it back. Once it's gone, it's gone. So what's the alternative? And the other thing is when I show you this alternative, it's gonna open up a whole new world of possibilities for you, possibilities and opportunities, aside from a Facebook ad account, but still using Facebook and using ads. Let me show you that, right? So what you want is the money to keep flowing into your business and you don't want that to be blocked at any point, right? That's a real problem for any business. You wanna avoid this screen, you don't wanna see this and we can get away from all of that. Um, if you get any value from this video, please press the like button, hit that subscribe, hit the bell button and you'll be notified of any future content and videos around this or other things that could really bring some insights and help you and your business and, and your life. Um, I'd really appreciate that. So. First of all, I'm going to show you the manual way to do it because there's a manual way uh, and then there's an automated way that you the path that you could take as well. I'll show you both. Um, so the manual way isn't going to cost you any money. So that's great, but it will cost you your time. Right. Um, you either you've either got a lot of money and then you, you save time or you've got uh, no money or you don't want to use any money and it's going to eat your time. So either way around, you're going to have to pay somewhere. So this way uh, takes your time, unfortunately. But. I could also show you a way that you can get your time back. And in also doing that, I can show you a way that a, a lot of the heavy lifting is automated and you can really sit back and, and scale your business, uh, a lot of it on autopilot, and then you take over at a certain point. It's absolutely genius. Stay tuned for that. So the question is, uh, how can you run ads directly to your target market or your dream client or customer without spending a penny? How can you do that? And how do you do this day in, day out, month after month and year after year? There's no stopping this. It really is evergreen. So the first step is 
to think about a, a billboard. So it's in New York, like you can see the amount of people on the street and the amount of people that would see each one of these billboards, right? Um, imagine if you had your offer, or your product or your service on one of these billboards, the people who are interested, it catch their eye and they take the details, go to the website or phone the number, whatever it is on your billboard, right? Imagine if you had your own one of these billboards here, right? And they will cost money for, to place those ads there. So what if you had your own billboard that got 1.6 billion active daily visitors a day? Not 1.6 thousand, which would be pretty good, right? <laughs> Not 1.6 million, which would be fantastic, but 1.6 billion. That's just mind blowing, right? And you do, right? Because it's your Facebook profile. Okay, you don't need to pay anything. It's free, it's a platform. And when someone finds your Facebook profile like this, they, they can tell who you are. If you've optimized it, they can tell who you are and what you're about. They'll click your pictures, they'll look through your pictures and, and get a feel for who you are and they'll understand who you are within a few minutes, right? So this is the manual way to do this now. You use your Facebook profile, you optimize it. We're just gonna jump over here for a moment. Uh, stay with me. So we're back to here, right? And what, what you do is you, you go onto Facebook, you go through your profile and then you go and you search, let's say, you know, we search business. Okay, so you search business top top left up here uh, you click that in and then you click uh, business and you click groups. Okay, because if you think about it, your target person, your ideal client has uh, already congregated with other ideal people and clients in a group. Someone else has already done that in a Facebook group. So if you click groups, type in your search, whatever yours may be, I'm just using business coaching as an example. And then you click uh, groups down the left here, if you can see that. And then you'll see the groups come up here. And if you just you have a look through, you read uh, and you basically come up where you find one that's targeted for you. So let's say, right, let's say here, coaching, therapy and mentoring, 47,000 members, uh, eight posts a month. So I might not go for that because it's not many posts a month. I might go for something that has, you know, 10 posts a day or 20 posts a day, whatever it may be. And then you, let's say you click on it, right? So you, you end up on a page like that once you've found the right group, the one that's perfect for you and what you're doing and what you're offering. And you can see, right? And you can join the group. So I can just simply join this group. Simple as that. And you, you've probably done this before, right? So you know what I'm talking about. I've joined the group. Right, great. Now I'm in the group. Now I want to just come over here. Yeah, I'll move that out of the way. There we go. So I'll come back. Now we're in the group. Now what you want to do is click people. Uh, and once you're on people, you'll see the members, you see the admin, you'll see the, the your friends that are in the group already. Uh, but what you want to look for is where it says members with things in common. Now, you'll be able to friend request any one of these people uh, because you've got things in common. So Facebook won't question you. In fact, it likes you to make connections. That's why it wants to keep you on the platform, right? And, and stay on the platform longer and have conversations and help each other uh, and be in a community. So you can, you can friend request any one of these people, right? So what I'm going to do is I would search for the person that I'm looking for. The per you'd search for the person you're looking for. So let's say I'm, I'm looking for business owners. OK, so I scroll down, I see Anita, body, mind, soul, business owner, self-employed. OK, I might click on Anita. I might see, are they posting regularly? Are they posting content that's related to what I do? And I might add her as a friend and I click friend. And there we go. I'm now potentially going to connect with Anita. I'll just cancel that because I don't necessarily want to send a friend request at that moment to Anita. But I could scroll through and you could see I could keep making um friend request with very very targeted people okay and that's part of the strategy okay let's jump back over to here for a moment and boom, boom, boom. where are we there okay so let's go back into this okay so that's the manual way to do it and what did that take about probably going to take you about three minutes um per per um, targeted friend request, potential client, potential business partner, right? That's really powerful way of really connecting with people that you really want to be in business with or do business with. But what if there was a way to automate that entire process, okay? And that targeted friend requesting happens on autopilot all through your day, okay? Every single day, not just for one day, every day. What would that look like? So let's say um, you you able to make 50 targeted friend requests a day. 
50 okay so we said take about three minutes so you get the right person and you go into the right group about three minutes each one on average that's 150 minutes per day which is two and a half hours okay but that's every day and that's 17 and a half hours every week and that's 70 hours a month okay that's a that's a chunk of time but it can be done manually and you might think okay i'll only do 20 a day um but why take the, why take the longer road? You need to try and leverage this and scale this as quickly as possible because I'll show you how it's a, it's a numbers game to begin and then you really refine what you're doing and that's the way every business goes. Okay, so what that looks like is 50 a day is 350 targeted friend requests per week. So if you're doing 50 targeted friend requests a week, at the end of the week, you've got 350 potential new clients, business partners, whatever it may be. OK, and at the end of the month, you've got one thousand four hundred targeted friend requests. All right. So what's the point? You might be wondering at this, at this stage, what is the point in all this? OK, I'm going to show you this. It's going to blow your mind. OK, I'm going to show you the numbers game. So it's cool. So it's a very simple process. And here it is. OK, so you find the perfect person in a Facebook group. And we know that there's a Facebook group for everything these days. And then you connect with them, you friend request them once you've once you've located them and then you start a conversation and then you end up selling or you end up doing business with, you know, you might do a partnership, might not just be sales. So whatever it is. OK, so what does that look like? Let's look at this as a funnel. So if you make um, 1400 a month, that's 50 a day, 350 a week, 1400 friend requests in a month. And let's say only 50% of them accept your friend request and the other 50% completely ignore you. They ghost you, right? That means you end up with 700 new friends, targeted friends, targeted potential leads, right? And let's say only 50% of them want to have a conversation. So they say yes to your friend request and you say, hey, how are you doing? And they don't reply, but only 50% reply. So now you're in 350 conversations. Now, let's say you end up having conversation back and forward and you realize you can help each other or you can help them or your product really helps them. And they're like, wow, this is amazing. Let's say only 30 percent of them want to find out more information, want to get on a call or want to really see what you do. And they're interested in what you're offering. So that's one hundred and five calls or like serious conversations about business and let's say 90 percent of them turn up so, you, so by this point you're already talking to targeted people you've already friend requested they said yes you've already started a conversation and now they're interested in having a conversation and then you've also determined that they are definitely interested in what you're offering so we've got to that point so it's going to be a high turn up rate for these calls so it's not let's say 90 percent, only 10 percent don't turn up that gives you 94 uh, offers that you will make in 30 days in that month right and let's say only 50 percent of those people who are highly targeted by this point uh only 50 percent of them make the purchase and actually want to do business with you so um that will equal 47 sales in a month think about that what would that look like for you so let's say you make just a hundred dollars net profit off every sale that would be four thousand seven hundred a month uh, and potentially every month because we're just going to repeat this process right uh, and let's say you make five hundred dollars net profit with whatever it is your service or your your product whatever you sell you'd make twenty three and a half thousand in that month in that 30 days and let's say you make a thousand uh net profit you'd make forty seven thousand per month does that sound good <laughs> so one more thing i want to talk to you about here is imagine if you just uh, improved one variable of these. So let's say you make 1400 friend requests uh, in a, over the course of a month. And let's say for whatever reason that 60%, instead of 50%, 60% of the people that you friend request say, yeah, uh, what would that do to the rest of your funnel? And we're just talking about one variable here, right? So 60% say, yes, I want to be your friend. Uh, we look like we'd be a good connection. Um, and so you'd end up with 840 leads instead of 700, 420 conversations instead of 350, 126 calls instead of 105, 113 offers you'd make instead of 94. And if only half of those say yes and, and actually make a purchase from you, then that's 56 sales. That's nine more sales. And that's just changing one of the variables. You know, if you got better at the conversations, if you really got better at choosing the leads, if you got better at, you know, making the, the, the pitch and selling, you know, any one of those stages, you improve any of them, it dramatically affects the, the end result. Mind blowing? <laughs> okay, so is this, could this be as powerful as Facebook ads? Potentially, right? And is it, is it could it be cost effective? Absolutely. And, there's no stopping. There's no stopping you. You know, you, you, you're you not going to get the uh, the <laughs> the disabled hammer on you, the Facebook ad account disabled uh, block on you. So let's look at this 50 target friend requests per day. That's 70 hours every month, 70 hours every month. What if you could get rid of 
those 70 hours and you didn't have to do any of it. You didn't have to do any of that. Uh, it was simply as easy as a click of a button, which it is. I'm going to show you how, <laughs> right? But it take you 30 seconds every day. That's three and a half minutes every week, 14 minutes it would take you every month. 14 minutes to generate the kind of income that I just showed you how you can do it uh, instead of 70 hours, <laughs> right? So, and that's, that's the results you could get, right? 47K a month, pretty good, eh? 23 and a half K and so on. Uh, those kind of results for 14 minutes. Think about it. And you're not just a pioneer on this. Like there's some people that have jumped on this early uh, and getting the results, you know, the opportunity uh, and, he, and Brad here sent 50 friend requests, as we've talked about, to his perfect customer. He found the right group uh, and he had 17 replies the next morning and he had two meetings booked immediately and then he got back to all of the uh, people that have responded to him. And he's not the only one. There's loads and loads of success uh, stories around this. OK, so the thing about being first, it's it's great in one respect. Um, but you're going to have a lot of arrows in your back. There's going to be a lot of learning curves. There's going to be, you know, there'll be problems along the way. But once you get a little bit further in from something being brand new, because that's what a real opportunity is. You know, think about when, if you was early for cryptocurrency as an example. You know, if you bought Bitcoin early, early, you'd be well happy right now. If you got into Tesla early, you'd be really happy right now. If you got into Facebook stock or Apple stock, if you got into some of the marketing strategies when they first came out, um, then, you know, you would have leveraged the growth of that. And then everything gets saturated over time. So this isn't quite brand new, which means it's in the sweet spot. It's right in the sweet spot for you. So um, because there's only 1600 users and there's there's a lot more than 120 hours saved because I could, you know, you saw how you'd save 69 hours at least in every month. Anyway, so if you act now it means that you're early. All right, is the point I'm making here uh, before it gets saturated. We know how quickly things can get saturated and the window of opportunity closes down. Um, so you don't want to miss it. So wouldn't it be great if you could test this system completely free? Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> well, you can. So <laughs> plus, 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 you get all of this while, you, while you're testing for free. Automated targeted friend requests every day on Facebook, 70 hours saved every month, automated welcome messages, which you can do as well. Saves you tons and tons and tons of time. Targeted as well. All the trainings there um, to show you how to do that step by step. It's so easy as well. You turn Facebook into a, in the, into a business CRM, which is customer relationship management system, and you can see exactly where you are with everyone and make notes, all that stuff. And it's all the trainings there, step by step, every way. It makes it as simple as it could be. And, and quick, you've got 24 seven technical support, a team of group, a team and a group of like minded people. So you're learning and trying things together and, and just getting the success. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and much, much more. And all of that in a two week trial. So if that sounds good, then just below this video, if you're on mobile or cell, just scroll just below this video, you'll see a little downward arrow like that. Click that button and you'll see the, the click. You'll see the um, the link is what I'm looking for to click, and that'll take you through to the free trial. If you're on desktop, just below the video, scroll look down and you'll see the link there. Click that and you'll be able to click straight through and you'll see this, how you can get quality dream clients organically um, through your Facebook profile. Absolutely fantastic. So there's an alternative way. Uh, Facebook ad account disabled. Here's an alternative way that you can avoid this screen, that that screen can no longer block you and stop you the flow into your business. And you're still leveraging the power of Facebook. OK, let's get rid of that screen <laughs> and you can get results like this. And that's how you get it. It's a numbers game and you can turn the tide in your favor. Facebook ad account disabled. No longer click the link in the description uh, to start your free trial today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.